Erica Hall, and I'm Sam. Welcome to Walker's Weekly News, where we have weather, sports, pop culture, and announcements. Let's look at the weather with Nick. Hi, my name is Nick Piles, and this is First Alert Weather, your home for all big events and weather and your weekly forecast. This week's forecast looks much more like fall. Friday will be slightly cloudy with a high of 87 and a low of 63 with a 0% chance of precipitation. Saturday will be partially cloudy with a high of 85 and a low of 55 with a 0% chance of precip precipitation, which is perfect for all the football games Saturday. Sunday will also be slightly cloudy with a high of 83 and a low of 54 with a 0% chance of rain. Monday will be partially cloudy with a high of 82 and a low of 54 with a 0% chance of rain. Tuesday will be slightly cloudy with a high of 80 and a low of 56 with no chance of rain. Wednesday will also be partially cloudy with a high of 82 and a low of 56 and no chance of rain. Thursday will be slightly cloudy with a high of 83 and a low of 56 with no chance of rain. Tune in again next week for your weekly forecast. Thank you for joining us now. Back to Thank you, Nick. Now over to Sports with Taylor to see how the Walker Vikings is doing. Yeldon to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Alabama! Hello, I'm Taylor, and welcome to Walker Vikings Sports. The Walker Vikings football team had a hard-fought loss against the Gardendale Rockets, 35-28. to The Vikings game, the Rockets, everything they had, the game came down to a no call on a pass interference play. A lot of news, both of Alabama and Auburn both won their games this week. The Alabama Crimson Tide went up to Arkansas and beat the Razorbacks 49-30. to Alabama's defense has scored at least one touchdown in the past six games. The Auburn Tigers went over to Starkville to play the Mississippi State Bulldogs. The Tigers beat the Bulldogs 38-14 and that moved to 23 in the AP poll. Auburn relied on sophomore running back Cameron Petway to lead the, cha the charge against Next week, as we cover the Walker Vikings taking on the Carver Rams. This is Taylor Whitley signing off. Thank you, Taylor. Now we have some pop culture with Eliza. Clownpocalypse is in full swing here in the United States and abroad. In the most recent clown news, an Englishman was stabbed by a creepy clown with a 10-inch blade. The clown attacked Simon Chinnery when he, while he was walking away from a service station. Chinnery was injured while trying to defend himself from the clown who pulled a knife on him. The clown was described as wearing scary makeup, a green wig, a red nose, and having a red beard. Join us next time for more Clownpocalypse news. I'm Elijah Abbott. Thank you, Elijah. Now Isaac has some announcements about what's going on around Walker. Here's your Walker Viking announcements. On the 17th, next week on Monday, there will be a student of the quarter meeting in the theater. On the 19th, there will be another meeting. There will be a PSAT in the theater theater on Wednesday and on the 26th there will be a delay s we start at 11 o'clock it ends at normal time 315 on Wednesday and lastly on the 27th there will be a game against Dora that's all the announcements we have see ya thank you Isaac That's all for this week at Walker's Weekly News.